What's up guys, welcome to another video. So some exciting news, we have added another car to the Corner Hunter fleet. This time an R32 four door. Um, literally just picked it up. It's in a little bit of a rough condition and needs some love, but it's a road legal, fully certified car for all mods. I've been absolutely dreaming of doing another 32 and I've been looking around, prices have been going through the roof. So I could not say no to could not say no to picking up this car for the price I got it for. Albeit a lot more than I would have liked to have spent for a Skyline in this condition because you know I sold my last one for like 14 grand and they had Blitzo 3s and was immaculate. But that's just the state of it now and this is what these cars are worth and I'm so stoked to be able to get back into a Skyline. Add another car to the channel, another build, so a lot more things to come with this R32. So we've literally just picked this car up, it hasn't had a clean or anything, so I just wanted to see, show you guys like what it looked like on the inside. Momo steering wheel, some random gauges. She needs a good clean, that's for sure, but it's all here and it all works, so looking forward to cracking into it. It's going to be quite a cool restoration type project. So in the engine bay it's packing the mighty RB20 DET. It's got a front facing plenum, actually really like that plenum to be honest. It's got an aftermarket radiator, intercooler, um, core packs. It's got a high mounted RB25 DET turbo. Can't say as I've ever seen one high mounted before but pretty pretty tidy. Um, engine bay's had a paint so it looks quite nice under here. Cool like manifold and bits and pieces, some external wastegate. Um, looks quite cool. Let's hope we can get it home and it doesn't cause us any grief, but uh, yeah, looking forward to getting into it. Well guys, we got the R32 home successfully. Never had two cars in my garage before. It just fits as you can see, but there is enough room to walk between the cars and a little bit of room to walk, work on them. Um, the R32 came with a bunch of fiberglass parts, some pretty cool side skirts, end caps and roof spoiler. So pretty stoked to have some parts to crack on with straight away, but yeah. Now got two cars on the channel. Mark II is still filthy as from Chrome, so we'll start doing a little bit of work on that, give her a good wash, and then investigate the um, missing issue. But yeah, on to R32. Start cleaning it up and working through it and seeing what she needs, and yeah, get out there and drive it. And here are the goodies that came in the car. Some Workshop X side skirts. A roof wing and some end caps. The best part is they're all actually to my taste. This is exactly the style I would put on this car to match the GDR parts, so pretty stoked. Well guys, first things first, that tow bar has to go. There is absolutely no way I'm gonna to tow anything with this car at its slammed state or as low as I plan to have it, so it's gotta go. After wrestling with the tow bar, for the first time she's officially tow bar free since 93. Glad to have that off the car. We definitely have no use for a tow bar on this R32. The Skyline's running 18 by 10 inch plus 15 wheels on the back with two 65, 35, 18 inch tires. Pretty grippy setup for a R32 with maybe 200 kilowatts, but I like grippy setups anyway. So looking under the rear of the car, it has brand new Hakon coilovers, tow, camber and traction rods. Um, it also has a GDR sway bar, which I didn't know about, and aftermarket poly bushes. It runs the five stud rear end with the two pot calipers, and it has a very interesting uh, pink painted uh, subframe. All in all, really stoked with the setup. This is like solid as, and this is what I used to run on my previous R32 sedan. Um, now I'm just going to spanner check everything, always good. On a car that's new to you just in case anything's loose and get it ready for the road so the front runs the same TSD coil overs four pot brakes and these Hakon bent uh, caster rods pretty cool I've never run a setup like that in the front so I was pretty stoked to see they're in there wasn't expecting that so just like the back we'll now spanner check everything because I would say just like the back everything's gonna be loose Safety first. It's also running a 38mm Turbo Smart external wastegate that's plumbed back into the exhaust. 
as you can see most things under here are pretty grimy and gross as I found out with all the bolts being loose time to check everything over and make sure everything's as good as possible so after a full bolt check we found that nearly every driveline bolt was loose so all the arms subframe sway bars everything was slightly loose in some fashion so now everything is as tight as possible also fixed the power steering link all the fittings was loose replaced some of the hardware fixed the door gaps the bottom bolts went in test fitted the side skirts and we also noticed that the boost tap system that goes down to the external wastegate is actually plumbed up wrong too that should be teeing off this intercooler pipe off the turbo so I wondered why that didn't seem quite right when I drove it but uh, we will fix that today and then take it for a test drive when we're out of level 4 lockdown so currently in New Zealand level 4 means stay at home and you're only allowed to leave to go out and get groceries from the grocery store nowhere else so we're currently in that for 7 days so a little bit more time to work on the skyline and get it ready to roll for when we're out of lockdown well after fixing the guard alignment gap basically the two lower bolts weren't on at all I can now test with the side skirt so these are workshop x side skirts New Zealand designed and made side skirt which look pretty damn cool and sit pretty good height with the GDR front bumper so can't wait to fit those up might be another day but can't wait to fit them up and the end caps that we got so the plan is with these two cars, the Mark II is the powerful car making 385 kilowatts so that's going to be my fun car that I still use at the track and keep developing and the 32, the plan with that is, because it's only RB20 powered, is just to be a cool looking cruiser low on nice wheels, cool styling, Jap styling and make some cool noises and build it over time into something that looks really wicked we can have a lot of fun with Here's the skyline after it's first clean. She's rough around the edges, but she's ready after today, checking everything, fixing a few problems. The skyline's rough and ready. Hey guys, thanks for watching another video. I'm so excited about the R32 and can't wait to get this project underway. Next up, we're going to fit up the aero parts that it came with, and then it's on to a full service of the car, all the fluids, everything we can change. And then it's to go out and enjoy the car. At the moment we're still in level 4 lockdown so as soon as that's up I'll be hitting the streets of my R32. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll keep the content coming.